So this is just going to be a quick um, how to use synthetic division. And if I'm looking for zeros for uh, this, this function right here, this cubic, I know it's going to have three, and I know at least one of them is going to be um, rational. And so um, I'm not going to focus right now on like how to, how to necessarily find that first one, other than I could just graph this or something like that. And I would, I would see if I graphed it that um, one of my, whoops, sorry about that, that one of my zeros um, is 3. I can just graph it and see that the graph crosses the x-intercept, uh, the x-axis at 3. So um, that means that um, x minus 3 is a factor of that. In other words, I can, I can take this and, and if I could factor it, I could split it into two pieces, one being x minus 3, and then another piece being something in terms of a cubic. So, thinking about that then, um, I want to do some division. I want to take this and divide it by that. And now in class we've done uh, work with uh, long division and, and, and that sort of thing. Synthetic division uh, is basically long division, but it's, uh, it's really streamlined. So, first thing that I do is I actually take the zero value, um, the three. So again, um, I'm, that value, if I plug it into here, it makes a zero. That's what I'm using. Uh, then I just, that'll just hold me in. And now I'm just going to grab the um, coefficients off of, off of here. So I have 1x cubed. I have 1x squared. I have negative 5x's. And I've got negative 21 1's. So now it's set up. And then the, uh, sorry about the bell. And then the way that, uh, that I do the synthetic division, just the process for it, that first number just comes down. It's not changed at all. One. And then um, you go, whatever you're dividing by times that. So three times one, that's a three. Uh, then you add one plus three is four. And you just basically keep doing that process of multiplying. Four times three is 12. And then adding uh, negative five. Uh, plus 12 is 7. Then you multiply again. 3 times 7 is 21. 21. And then notice that I have 0. I have a remainder of 0. So here's what happened. I took this thing that was in terms of x cubed. I divided it by something that's linear, an x. x cubed divided by x is x squared. So this is how many x squared terms I have. This is how many x terms I have, and this is how many 1's I have. So this answer uh, translates into 1x squared plus 4x's plus 7. So that means that I could divide this out, and if I go that divided by x minus 3, what's left is x squared plus 4x plus 7. These two things multiplied together give me that. So that process right there is how synthetic division works.